We do it to plan for this better digital future, to manage a secure transition from the current system. From cash-based to digital, innovations like vaccines. We need a measurement system that tracks the vaccines, that tracks the vaccines, that tracks the vaccines. Welcome back. A $140 million government contract is under question right now. The Defense Department says it's to acquire syringes for COVID vaccines, but claims online are questioning why the syringes have trackers in them. Why the syringes have trackers in them. Why the syringes have trackers in them. Well, each of these devices that are injection have the capacity to also have a small chip. What that chip does is it has the unique serial number for each dose. It's designed so that there is no counterfeiting. Each microchip carries its own unique code. Planting a microchip is a simple procedure. The microchip, about the size of a tiny grain of rice, is implanted under the loose skin. The process takes only a few seconds to help ensure that the microchip will stay in place so it can easily be located and read. It will use a microchip scanner to read his unique microchip ID code. The scanner, which emits a low radio frequency, displays a microchip ID. This ID code will enable us to identify you. We talked about the incredible opportunities that technology gives us in the future to create the world that we want. I think it's a very, very important task. It's a great honor to get involved because this digital period, which we like or don't like, next 30, 50 years, the human beings will be on the digital area. So digital gives people power, and those were some of the pe things that we were excited about, is that inclusion of digital. That made us excited as a panel. There are two articles that we're focusing on. This one in naturalnews.com and this one in breakingisraelnews.com. Both talk about a government contract to buy syringes with RFID tracking for COVID vaccinations. Now, these articles led to social media posts claiming the COVID vaccine will contain a chip to track you. Only we know instantaneously where and when that dose has been used. The microchip is safe in humans. It's sort of a human barcode. The scanners are put up at airports and bus stations, so if a chipped child is there, police know. But the practice of implanting chips in people is also on the rise. Those who embrace the idea say they see it as a way to take back control. As this technology improves, the debate will intensify as to whether implants generate or diminish freedom. The technology is moving to humans. A tech startup called Dangerous Things has sold tens of thousands of implant kits for humans, some to tech companies in Europe. Showblood even organizes implant parties where people can bond over getting chipped together. I know my husband is not vaccinating people and putting a microchip in her arm because that technology doesn't even exist and he's never uttered the words out of his mouth. So. <laughs>